Hey everyone, Paul Daniels here, what I've fixed daily. And I've got a Samsung ST, I think this is a 355, eight inch laptop, uh, laptop, my goodness, bad start already. Tablet, and we just need to change the port and probably the battery on this. So we get this pulled apart, it's a little bit awkward. Well, there's certainly worse around. Obviously the hardest thing on these is making sure you don't break the glass. Just getting that. Let's have a look at the connector. Oh, uh, you're a train wreck. Absolute train wreck. So it would seem for me to be able to work on this, I'm going to have to pull the whole thing out. That's not really what I wanted to do. Oh boy. So we've got some sort of liquid issues. Uh, not good. Not sure what that is. Alright, hopefully we can just lift that off and put a new one down. I'm a little worried about that metal plate on the back side. It may give me some grief in terms of thermal uh, mass. Let me check that we're actually dealing with the correct connector. It'll be a complete another unfortunate outcome if it's the wrong one. And it's complete and utterly the wrong one. Or at least it looks that way. Yeah, that is not a match. How does this sh keep happening? Might get lucky, I might have another one. Seems like they've sent me... I ordered two, and they've sent me a... Wow. Ah. So we do have the right one, but the other one's the wrong one. I don't know what the other one is. Alright, we're back on... The show's back on. Downside is, we only got the one shot. That's not really like the way I like to run things.
Uh, it's a real mess. Now I think our thing fell off. Hopefully we didn't move any parts. Looks good. Uh, so we've got a bunch of cleaning up to do now. I had no idea what it was that they spilled on it. It certainly doesn't look like it wants to be displaced by alcohol. Not very much anyway. Probably didn't help that I baked it. Yeah. Probably some sort of drink. And I'd say all of this is kind of like toffee. Right, we do need to clean out these ports, so we use hot air and wick for that. See how the wick doesn't really pull out from these deep corners here, so that's why we've got to use the hot air method. I'm really going to have to fix up that uh, fume hood connection to the board, the bench rather. It's completely, I don't know why I didn't notice it last night. I guess my eyes were fuzzier. Alright, can we do that? Alright, that looks doable by hand. I was a little worried that I might have had pins on the underside hiding but it doesn't so it's good so it flux this up that sits nice and comfortable let's tack down one corner while holding the Now the fun part, making sure we get these little chaps perfectly right.
Obviously that's a very messy solder job. I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn this off because I can't see clearly though. I'm going to have to just hold my breath. Perfect. Excellent. Well, it looks like a train wreck overall, but it's um, it's actually not that bad. All the burnt toffee look is the real culprit here. Uh, I've got to do the two little nubs there. Just need some flux and some assistive heat. Just gonna be a little bit careful with the assistive heat on this side because I do have the antenna cable just down there. There we go, see? Bit of assistive heat helps a lot. There's no way you would have been able to get them from this side. Definitely not the prettiest I've seen, but so long as it's functional, I'm going to be a happy man. We've got no bridges in there, so that's good. All right. So we can do about cleaning this little bit of toffee paradise. Obviously, I can be a little more aggressive with that one. Uh, sometimes I find a bit of a water mix helps. There we go, look at that. For obvious reasons, I'm a little bit disinclined to use that on the actual main board. I might swab it instead with a... Yeah, I might do that, use a... Earbud swab. Q-tips for you who don't call them earbuds. The reason why the uh, sort of alcohol water combination often works is because not everything is soluble in alcohol. And for as simple as water is, it's extraordinarily good in terms of being a universal solvent. Or close to it. I mean, look at that. The alcohol wouldn't touch that stuff and now it's just washing away. Now it is demineralized water. I would prefer distilled water but I can't really get a hold of distilled water. Well I guess we'll put this back in. I think what I'll do is I'll apply power, see if it uh, shows up. Better yet, I can just put the charge in it. I 
Okay, so before it wasn't charging, let's see if we have any better luck this time. Well, the looks like we have success.